Alright guys, so we're back. Um, we're going to try this again since there's no snowstorm now. We shouldn't have any problems now. Don't see why we would. So, um, hang on just a second. Guys, I'll have to give me a minute. I'm doing things. If there's even anybody here at the moment. Which I'm fairly certain there isn't. By the way, for those of you that are that celebrate it, today's Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas Eve and um I might do SmackDown tomorrow if I have time. Making sure I have everything uh, ready. Just a second. So far, it doesn't look like there's any problems. Just a couple more seconds here, we'll get underway. second to get in character here. <clears throat> it's just me tonight, or today, so Steph's at work, TJ's at work. TJ actually just left a few minutes ago. Um, as soon as it loads. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Warhawks Entertainment Inc. Presents LWL Episode 1. I'm Iron Man here. I'm by myself today. Sharania and the Juggernaut are both at work at the moment. So we will be doing this solo, but hey, that's alright. So we have a very stacked card for you tonight. Starting off with a match between Sheamus and Andre the Giant with implications for later tonight. A triple threat match for the LWL Leading Lady Championship between the champion Stephanie McMahon, Alicia Fox, and Cameron. Next up, we have Diamond Dallas Page taking on Savio Vega. Our own take on 
on tag team turmoil with the champion, where the champ, the LWL World Tag Team Champions Enzo and Cass take on the Brothers of Destruction. More on that later in an elimination tag team match. A false count anywhere match between LWL Zodiac Champion Adam Rose and Cesaro. Sting taking on Brock Lesnar in a regular match. And finally, a fatal four-way ladder match, which will be edited later, between Triple H, Seth Rollins, Edge, and the winner of our opening contest, Sheamus versus Andre the Giant, to determine the number one contender for the LWL World Heavyweight Championship at the first LWL pay-per-view. Now that we have all of that out of the way, let's get into it. And to avoid any copyright claims, we're going to skip the entrances. Because the last video I uploaded, they, WWE filed a copyright claim because of, my, because I, because of the Vaude Villains entrances. So we're going to skip those just to be sure. Tickets for my girlfriend? Absolutely, Michael. This one's going to be great. And Andre, well, Andre the Giant had momentum, but now Sheamus takes control. As we watch Sheamus, let's get your take on it. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one environment. That's a good sign. Very hard to keep control of a match when you're in a, the ring with a giant, guys. <laughs> Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. When Very nice choke ring, slam. Even if the crowd jumps to their feet at the calling of his name, because they know the Celtic Warrior is waiting to dish out enormous amounts of punishment. They talk like like Sheamus is a face, but right now he's a heel. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope for those of you wondering, down. my wife did design this David arena Dreams herself. Like she gave me the ideas, and I put it to put idea to the screen. I like how slow he is to react right now. Her name, her nickname is Shinron. Only a few people will get that reference. Hence the dragon, and hence why the turnbuckles are supposed to look like Dragon Balls. You talked about this before. That's it. He's out. Andre the Giant with a big bonsai drop, I guess you could call it. Two. Nope. Sheamus says not right now. Feeling that Sheamus is going to get plenty of color on that pale white body of his. For those of you wondering what LWL stands for, we're not quite sure about that. But uh, when we figure it out, you'll know. It'll be interesting to see who becomes the alpha male early in the contest. Yeah, the fight is on for dominance. Very nice neck breaker. When you talk about someone's reputation for seating, and, and another choke slam by Andre. Sheamus, standing at six foot four and weighing around that 270 pound mark, Sheamus can issue a hellacious assault like no other WWE superstar. Oh, there's the elbow drop. The elbow the drop. drop. Andre it could it have it here. Will it be? Two. Two. He got him. Winner, ladies and gentlemen, 
All right, that means Andre the Giant advances to the final match of the night in the Fatal 4-Way Ladder match. Let's go to the highlights here. Here's your winner, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre. The next match is for the LWL Leading Lady Championship. It is a triple threat match scheduled for one fall. No disqualifications, no count outs. Introducing first the, from Greenwich, Connecticut, wait, uh, we don't know her weight. She is the LWL Leading Lady Champion, Stephanie McMahon. And her opponents first, Alicia Fox. And Cameron. Uh, we are seconds away from the start of this title match. And there's the bell. And these ladies look ready to. And just like the arena apart. itself, my wife did did design all of the championships. If you ask me at the beginning of the night, I'd tell you that there was no way this title reign was coming to an end. But now, I'm not so sure. The challenger just refuses to be denied here tonight. Remember, first person to gain a pinfall or submission in this triple threat match will be declared the LWL leading lady champion. champion. That does not mean she that means the champion does not have to be involved in the decision to win. How much longer that can last, though? Alicia Fox is making full use of this open moment. Thank you for choosing to spend your Wednesday night with us. We I mean, the champion does not have to be involved in the decision to lose the title. I mean, I feel we see something new from her each week. Drop kicks, clothes lines, flying cross bodies. Oh, and one of my favorites, her split leg drop. She does a mean loot that press also, which I volunteered to be her training partner on, by the way. She's starting to put moves together. Watch out. She's on a roll. We're witnessing a merciless assault. No mercy whatsoever. Well, Very nice monkey flip by Stephanie McMahon. That's not a movie you see all She's on a mission here. Well, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. And this heartless attack continues. Oh, man. This is getting tough to watch. Jerry, the moves that Cameron has perfected are such an exciting combination of speed and high-flying acrobatics that her opponents are always kept off balance. Really? We can't let the thrilling maneuvers make us forget that Cameron's strong and will slap the taste out of someone's mouth to put them back in line. Oh, absolutely, Cole. In fact, that's one of my favorite components to her offense. Cameron's not all highlight real moves, but can get down and dirty, too. Stephanie apparently tried to take a page out of her husband's book. If anyone was <laughs> Ow. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Looking good now. Alicia Fox doing some damage. It looks like a visit to the chiropractor's office will be in order after this one. Look out! Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Okay, you have to be careful not to let that stunning smile of Alicia Fox's fool you. She's not even close to as innocent as she appears. Oh, you got that right, Cole. Alicia Fox is as cunning as she is gorgeous. And that's a dangerous combination, if you ask me. Suplex, see what kind of response we'll get. Yeah, I'm telling you, that suplex was perfect. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Looking to build momentum. Well, we're on the move here. Look at Stephanie McMahon here. 
Well, King, you used the word cunning to describe Alicia Fox earlier. I'd say that assessment is extremely politically correct of you. I'd say shrewd, deceptive, and deceitful are a bit more accurate. Really? Another monkey flip. Nice That's job. Doing there. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Remember, in championship matches, the title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. Yeah, that's why they call it the championship advantage. You can lose the match, but keep the title. I don't think there's a demon in that locker room that would disagree with your take on Alicia Fox, Cole. But you know what? Being shrewd, deceptive, and deceitful is a lot more of the reason why she was WWE's first ever African-American Divas champion. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. Look at this. Could it be? Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. Stephanie McMahon for the win. Still involved. They're still alive. Yeah, Cole. You remember that song back in the day? Staying alive? Well, that was it in WWE terms. Really? Why is this goddamn thing now? Alicia Fox with the offense. Well, she wants this win bad. There's some serious power right there. Hey, JBL, if I were you, I'd grab hold of your head over there. Alicia Fox can snap at a moment's notice. She looks unbeatable tonight. She's having a real hard time getting back to her feet. Really? Stay down. Stay down! I think we know what this is. And the another pedigree. One is in the books. Pedigree to perfection. What a fit. Shoulders down, is it enough? And she kicks out. Man, she's not just beautiful, she's tough too. What an amazing display. Cameron can't Resilient. seem to decide whether or not she wants to be involved in the match or not. Alicia Fox with a split leg, leg drop. Yeah, that was a vicious leg drop. Man, oh man. This match is just one complete hook. Oh, will she win it here? I think so. Wow, there's the save. The Stephanie McMahon continues. saving her championship. Wow, did you see that foot King? Very nice monkey flip out of the corner. She appears to be extra slow regaining her base. This could do it. Maybe it. Two. She may be fading here. She's the opportunity to go high. Well, is Stephanie McMahon going to the top rope? Body splash. This but Alicia Fox is in her way. A nasty kick there. Man, 
this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy watching. Yeah, one of those you never want to see in. Seriously. Oh, no. She's in a bad way now. Scissor kick. Ouch. That was nice, though. Going for the cut. Stephanie picks up the sledgehammer. What a way to put it. Talk like her husband when she grabs that sledgehammer. It's never good. Oh, look at this. When you go at an opponent, will it be enough for the win? Stephanie McMahon in control. Hump day. Hopefully this WWE action is helping you get through those midweek blues. Quick turn. All the pitfalls broken up. That could have been it. And Alicia Fox saves the match. Yeah, I've been in similar positions in there. Take it from me, Cole. It doesn't get much closer than that. We're looking at complete domination here. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Look at Cameron. Bob Cameron hit that one. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Oh my God, watch out. What a way to break the pen to keep this match going. Man, that was close. That was a different kind of counterattack, but hey, whatever works. Thus far, this has been a phenomenal championship contest. Who will win? Who's going home with the title? Man, from the way things look right now, Cole, your guess is as good as mine. This has been so many man. I missed what she did. I was doing something. But is going no matter, to Cameron broke it up, and now Cameron going for something. Cameron hits the jackpot with a huge move. Now the shoulders down. Championship on one, the line. two. two. Three, we have a new leading lady champion. A new champion. There was no love lost in that match, and look at the impact in these highlights. Hang on, let me find my. Oh, they threw. Well, I don't know how you can. I can't believe. Congratulations to Cameron. Now we'll move on to our third match of the evening, which will be Savio Vega taking on Diamond Dallas Page. Absolutely no quit in them tonight. Well, what's your take right now on Diamond Dallas Page? DDP can look on the bright side of anything. And that's a good thing, since he's in there with a maniac right now. his mind to. Let's face it, here's a guy who was continually told he was too old or not good enough or just a manager, but a world champion. Now that's pretty impressive. And 
this point, you have to wonder what's going on inside that shoulder. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. <laughs> right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. Oh, well, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. King, you talk about Page's never-say-die attitude, which helped catapult him to the upper echelon of this industry. And it's that same attitude he brings to the ring each and every time he competes. It's almost as if his body will not accept failure. You're right. He literally wills himself to victory. I've never seen anything like it. You know, by all accounts, he should be an afterthought in the annals of sports entertainment. Instead, he's one of the most successful superstars of all time. And Sammy Omega is in control. Let's see what he does with it. Listen to that chop echo throughout the arena. Oh, what's he going to do here? Very nice. He's I like that. I don't know here. what they have to call it, but I like it. The referee may have to call this match, kick. Oh, my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, everybody you see has an exact win. When looking back at the entirety of Diamond Dallas Page's career, here's a man who refused to be denied his spot in sports entertainment history. It's well documented now, but DDP was the man who drove rhythm and blues to the ring in his pink Cadillac at WrestleMania 6. For many, Chopin, Honky Tonk Man, and Greg Valentine to the ring would have been a career highlight, but not DDP. Whoa. He was motivated to become a star. That <laughs> DDP got out of it. Probably the most motivated superstar I've ever come across. And positive. Well, wow, that positively page thing is no gimmick. DDP is definitely a glass half full kind of guy. Good sleeper hold. Tough move to get out of. Oh, the longer he stays in this. Sleeper hold. Sleeper hold. No. Nope. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. King, you mentioned Page's motivation and positivity. I think it's worth mentioning that many credit DDP's infectious character for helping both Scott Hall and Jake Roberts achieve great success in recent years. When this guy's on, look out. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' uh, minds in a match of this magnitude. Yeah, I hope I'm saying your name right. How's it going, man? There may be no fighting out of this. The spinning heel kick, this one in the books. I think you're right. It's over. What up? Looking for all the glory here. Two, three. He did it. What a huge win. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. All right. The next. The next match is our take on tag team turmoil, which basically is one team, two teams face off for the tag team championships, and then and then whoever wins that faces off next week against the next team for the tag team titles, and and so on and so forth until it's over. I know it's complicated, but it's a little it's a lot less complicated than in real life. <laughs> so the So the first so seriously first, the tag team champ the LWO World Tag Team Champion Zinzo and Cass, and the challengers, the Brothers of Destruction. Wow, this amazing crowd is And there are the LWL Tag Team Championships. And there's the bell. This tag team championship match has started. These two teams. This is an elimination tag team match, tag team which means you 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 get pinned or submit or get disqualified or counted out. 
and you have to go to the back. So much on the line in this one, and like they say, on any given night, anything can happen in WWE. That's something I learned early on in my stay here in the Two WWE. Seven footers <laughs> going at it. You. Yeah, absolutely anything can happen in the WWE. Even and he gets into the ropes. Give us your thoughts about Colin Cassidy. That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Yeah, none expected and none will be shown. Cole, what you got in mind? You got to watch out for Colin Cassidy's East River Crossing. That could end this one in a hurry. Um, by the way, um, I'm just going to call you Lutz, nice if that's okay, because there is no way I'm going to be able to pronounce your name right. I can pretty much guarantee it. And now Colin Cassidy is in control. Two teams I'd rather see square off against each other. Very right nice. Now. This is amazing. Side long slam. I started to say. To his base I stopped here. because I thought somebody was going to say something important. Colin Cassidy putting it on him right now. This match will have a lot of big moves. One question will be, who will capitalize on those moves the best? And who will capitalize on those moves the earliest? That's important. The thing that makes Colin Cassidy's East River Crossing so dangerous is that it's both dizzy and impactful. Yeah, it's double trouble, Cole. There's no getting up from the East River Crossing. Tag team championship at stake. Which the shoulders are down. What? Plenty of fights. Uh, You're right. This Undertaker kicks out at one. You don't get many opportunities like that against Undertaker. That's true, King. You don't get very many opportunities like that. The crowd's the starting to let's go take her chance. And you'll find some interesting articles in there about all the superstars here in WWE. Who do you get to read the magazine to you, Cole? 